Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Today I wanted to talk to you about a tree that is becoming more familiar in our urban landscapes, and that is the hackberry tree. Now this individual happens to be a common hackberry, and the reason it is becoming more familiar in our urban landscapes is because it's a good replacement for the American elm trees that have been infected with the Dutch elm disease. So the hackberry is in the same family and it has a similar growth habit and it is tolerant of urban conditions. And one thing everybody comments about hackberry trees that they have a very distinctive bark. You can see here that it's has a different ridges and it's kind of got waves in it. So this is a somewhat young tree and these patterns will get more pronounced the older the tree gets. So hackberry leaves are interesting because they're asymmetrical. You'll see that the lobe here on the right side is higher than the one on the left, and they have serrated edges. Also, many times the point is not straight, but it will curve. Another thing with hackberry leaves is that they often have this gall, and this is called nipple gall. And it's so common on the trees that this can actually be used as an identifier. So it doesn't hurt the trees. A lot of people see this and they think the tree has a disease, but it's just in the leaves. <clears throat> and one way that you can help to uh, prevent it is to rake up and burn the leaves every year. So the fruit of the hackberry is relatively small. And this is unripe fruit here. And you may be asking why I'm doing a video on unripe fruit. And the reason is, is that birds get to this fruit very quickly. I was gonna try to break it open, but it is uh, it's not ripe yet, so it's actually rather hard. But there's the fruit, and then there's also a small nut in the inside. So both the fruit and the nut are edible. So that's one thing people uh, miss sometimes is that you know, you're not just getting a berry, but uh, you're also getting the, uh, there we go. This thing's tough, to, there we go. You're also getting the small nut, so it's a little bit more of a complete nutritional item. As you can see, there's not a lot of meat on it. And some of them, I'm not gonna get this one, the, the nuts just crack very easily. But uh, on others, you wouldn't wanna crack them with your teeth, so. But these fruits were used rather extensively by Native Americans. And they have similar species in Europe of hackberry trees. And they, uh, they were used over there. And they have actually gone back in archaeological records. And they found that uh, hackberries were in the old kitchen remains. So they were utilized by all sorts of people. 
Now, fortunately, they have a name like Hackberry, which is not exactly an appetizing name. But uh, one of the other names they have is Sugarberry or Honeyberry, depending on um, who you talk to. But uh, <clears throat> you have to wait until these fruits are ripe and they'll turn red or orange or yellow. They are very astringent if you, if you don't let them ripen all the way and you will regret trying to eat them. So. so like I said, the birds usually eat these rather quickly and that's why I'm doing this video early. I plan on coming back out here in the fall Later, it's late fall when they ripen, so come back out late fall and we'll see if we can collect any. This is really the first year that these two trees have uh, produced a very heavy crop, so hopefully I can get some before the birds do. Anyway, this is the Plant Assassin. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.